This is the next video in the series on medication adherence and today I'd like to talk to you about a parameter that can be used to measure the adherence to medication. So the term that is used is medication possession ratio or MPR and note that this is one of the indirect ways in which we can determine whether a patient is adherent to the medication or not. Now what is the MPR? The MPR is typically defined as the proportion of days during an observation period that an individual was in possession of medicine supply. We can write this in a different way and say that the medic medication possession ratio equals the total days of medication supply that the patient has in a particular observation period over the number of days in the observation period. So in practical terms we can also look at it in this way. You see the patient and you write a prescription and then you expect the patient to go immediately to the pharmacy and fill the prescription. Then hopefully the patient will take the prescription and after a month refill the prescription and so it would go on here they will take it again during this period and refill again and so forth so what one could do now is to take a particular observation period and I've put months here but we said here we want days so let's just change these into days so let's say that would be 0 28 56 84 and 112. So if we take a an observation period of let's take the last two months. This is a period of 56 days. So let's add this to our formula here. 56. That's a number of days in our observation period. And let's say the patient refilled here but did not go for a refill there. So the patient was in possession of treatment for 28 days out of this whole period because this part is 0. So 28 plus 0 over 56 would be 28 over 56 and that would be 0 0.5. So the medication possession ratio would be 0 0.5. Now one thing that you should note here is that it is possible in patients where they go to the pharmacy early to refill their medication. So let's say bef before their medication is finished every month, they will go and do a refill. That they may actually have more days supply in their observation period than there are days in the observation period. Which means that the medication possession ratio could theoretically be greater than 1.0. In those cases, we usually just round it off to 1.0. Because if you write that in a percentage, that would be 100%. This could be 50% to 0.5. Now there are some other terms that are synonyms of the MPR. The one is called the PDC or the proportion of days covered. Other people would call this the med total index. Now there is one last thing that I'd like to make you aware of and that is that medication possession ratio only tells us whether the patient has drug in their possession. It does not tell us whether the patient actually took the medication. So it speaks about possession. It does not speak about taking the medication. So we don't know from these data whether the patient is actually taking that. And for, for looking at that, we need to look at other parameters.